I want you to know that prayer is powerful. And as we move in the power of prayer, we're going to see God do some amazing, mighty things in our lives. So we pray the kingdom come. We pray that will be done. We can't deal with that. And the last one we pray is God's hand in our situation. There's a story of a great prayer by a young man by the name of Jabez. And in this prayer by this young man, there was a great genealogy. Great genealogy of all his kinfolk and, and of all of the family members. And normally when they're doing a genealogy, they just mention your name and they keep moving. So just to make the record of the genealogy is a significant task. And you either make the record because you're either someone who did some great good and it set your generation up for decades, or you're someone who did great bad and it set your generation back. Well, there was a young man who made the record. He made the record of the genealogy. And over there in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, it talks about how this young man found favor in God's eyes. This wasn't a prayer. This wasn't a lesson. This wasn't history. This was simply the genealogy. But he had such a fervent prayer life. In the midst of his genealogy, you could not mention him without mentioning what his prayer produced in the situation. And he asked God to expand his borders and and for God to bless him in every area of his life, I want you to today to trust God to bless you in your life. As you pray today, I want you to believe that God is going to do it. The guys begin to get that car together. Then they got ready to crank it up, and I'm just smiling and shouting. So they went to crank it up, and it turned over. They said, that's all right. It's on the way. It's on the way. We just need a little power. It's on the way. So then they get the battery jumper, they put it on there. We wait about five or 10 minutes. Now everybody celebrating. They say it's just a matter of time. We heard the starter. We got that problem out of the way. We just need a little power. And we're connected to the source. And you thought there was preachers in there. So, so they say it's just a matter of time. I want you to know in your situation, it's just a matter of time. If you stay connected to God in his word, it's just a matter of time. If you stay on your bended knees, it's just a matter of time. The car might not be turning in your financial situation. The car might not be turning in your health situation. The car may seem not to be turning in your church. But what I want you to know, if you stay connected to God in prayer, if you stay connected to God in his word, you're going to be like that car. We stayed connected. Then all of a sudden they cranked it up. You heard that big engine roar and everybody began to shout and celebrate. And I want you to know the engine of your life is going to roar. I'm talking about the, the financial engine of your life. Come on, I'm just coming down your street now. The health engine of your life is going to roar. The relationship engine of your life is going to roar. This church we call City of Faith Church is going to roar. Your job situation is going to roar. Your home situation is going to roar. I want you to believe that trouble will come over here and trouble will come over there, but trouble won't come down your street. Somebody shout amen. amen. Father God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for this word. We thank you for allowing us to spend some brief moments talking about prayer. Lord, we thank you so much for your word. Lord, we thank you so much for your son, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for his coming. We thank you for his dying. We thank you for his resurrection. Lord, we're thankful that we too can walk with Jesus and talk with Jesus and tell him all about our story. Lord, we know he's seated at your right hand. And he's whispering in your ear on our behalf. Lord, we pray favor over our situations. Lord, we believe favor over our situations. Lord, we receive favor over our situations. Lord, we praise you and thank you for the manifestation of favor in our lives. Lord, seed this word in our hearts. Seed Ephesians 1.19 in our being. Seed 
Mark eleven twenty four in our being. See Matthew six ten and eleven in our being. See Psalm one thirty nine and Psalm fifty one. Lord, allow us to be revolutionized through the power of prayer. Lord, we love you and we praise you. In Jesus' magnificent name, somebody said, Amen. Amen. Maybe there's